Every day you're using tap water, but what if you shouldn't be? Today, I'm putting it to the test with a live demo that will reveal the truth. And you'll see why a home reverse osmosis system is a powerful solution for getting clean water, saving money, and protecting the environment. So stick around because this is an eye opener. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Lillian. And on this channel, we're dedicated to making healthier lifestyle choices. Today, we're diving into a topic that affects every single one of us, our water. Let's start by looking at what could be contaminating our tap and how a reverse osmosis system is the ultimate solution. I know many of us trust that our tap water is safe. I mean, after all, it comes from our public water systems and the government has regulations, right? Well, yes, but those regulations often prioritize public safety on a broad scale, not necessarily your individual long-term health. These are often in levels considered safe by current standards, but the long-term effects of ingesting them daily are still a major concern for many health experts. This isn't about creating fear. It's about being informed and taking control of your health. So how do we do that? An RO system is your ultimate defense. It pushes water through an ultra fine filter, almost like a bouncer that only lets in the good stuff. It blocks out virtually everything else, including sediment, chloride, fluoride, as well as the truly nasty stuff you don't want in your body. Heavy metals, nitrates from fertilizers, pharmaceuticals, microplastics, and even viruses. The invisible particles that could potentially disrupt hormones or damage cells over time. It's a powerful tool to take charge of what you and your family are drinking. It's eco-friendly and planet-saving. Have you ever stopped to think about where a plastic bottle goes after you've thrown it away? We often assume it just disappears, but the reality is far more grim. Every single minute, a million plastic bottles are purchased around the world and a staggering number of them end up on a one-way trip to our oceans. But they just don't float around intact. They slowly but surely break down into tiny pieces called microplastics. It's estimated that there are already between 75 and 199 million tons of plastic waste currently in our oceans, with a further 33 billion pounds of plastic entering the marine environment every single year. These microplastics aren't just litter. They're contaminating our water and being consumed by the very fish that ends up on our dinner plates. This is a silent killer making its way up the food chain. And it's not just the plastic itself. The chemicals inside these bottles can also seep into the ocean, creating a toxic soup that's destroying marine ecosystems and putting human health at risk. With a home RO system, you're not just getting clean water. You're making a choice to protect the planet. An RO system saves serious money. So let's talk about the money in your wallet. We all know bottled water is convenient, but have you ever calculated the true cost? Based on the average person drinking just eight glasses a day, you're spending around $1,200 a year on bottled water. Now consider the alternative, a home RO system. Even with the cost of filter replacements and minimal electricity, you're only looking at about $100 to $150 per year. That's a massive difference. By switching to an RO system, you're not just getting cleaner water. You could be saving over $1,000 every single year. Everyday convenience and water confident. Honestly, having an RO system has completely changed my day to day for the better. It's the little things like knowing the water I use from my morning coffee, washing my vegetables, or watering my plants is healthy and safe. I don't have to think about it anymore. No more hauling heavy cases of bottled water from the store and then lugging those empty bottles to the recycling center. No more guessing if the tap water is good. It's just total water confidence right from my kitchen sink. 
The system I'm using is the APAC Rhodes 50 Essence 5 stage reverse osmosis system. And what I love is that it's certified by the Water Quality Association. The WQA is a third party organization that's been testing water treatment products against industry standards for over 50 years, which gave me that extra peace of mind. And just to be totally clear, this is my personal recommendation, not a paid endorsement. I'm not a part of any affiliate program, so I'm just sharing what I use and love. But beyond the everyday convenience, there's a much bigger reason why this is so important to me. As we see the effects of climate change and water scarcity becoming real concerns, it's a sobering reality. Did you know that over 2 billion people around the world already live in countries with high water stress? And projections suggest that in 2025, over half of the world's population could be living in areas facing water shortages. This is why we're all realizing that clean water is a precious resource and purifying the water we already have isn't just a smart choice, it's one of the most sustainable and responsible things we can do. It's a small, easy change at home that contributes to a much bigger, more sustainable solution for our planet. Here's the trade-off and it's an important one to be aware of. While an RO system is incredible at filtering out the bad stuff, it also removes some of the good minerals. We're talking about things like calcium, magnesium, and potassium, minerals that not only help with the taste of the water, but are also crucial for your health. These are key electrolytes that help our bodies function properly. If oral water is your main source of hydration, you need to be mindful of this as a lack of these electrolytes can lead to some uncomfortable symptoms. Think about things like headaches, muscle cramps, or a feeling of general fatigue, especially if you're active, fasting, or it's a super hot day. For most people, demineralized water isn't a problem. If you want minerals back, just add a few drops of electrolytes into water or use an additional mineralization filter or simply eat a diet rich in electrolyte rich foods such as spinach, leafy vegetables, avocados, sweet potatoes, and lentils. Personally, I use an electrolyte supplement. And again, this isn't a paid plug, it's just what works for me. I found great results with neutral line fasting salts I like it because there are no carbs and no fillers, just the clean electrolytes my body needs. And the most important thing is to listen to your body and find what works for you. And as always, please check with your healthcare provider before adding any new supplements into your routine. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. We've talked a lot about what could be in your water, but now we're going to put it to the test. This little device is a TDS meter and it's going to show us what's in our tap water. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids and it measures all the tiny invisible particles floating in your water in parts per million. We're talking about everything from minerals to salts to heavy metals, chloride, fluoride, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, and yes, even microplastics. Okay, let's head over to the kitchen and test some water. Okay, let's get started. Good. I'm gonna start with the tap water. I have a couple of little pour glasses here. You don't need a lot of water to test the contamination levels. We're gonna do this real time. Turn it on and submerge. 301, pretty contaminated. I don't wanna drink water that's 301. Do you? Okay, time for the reverse osmosis. 14. Yay, that's the water I wanna drink. These are great. Not only can you test your reverse osmosis system for filter changes, but also your tap water. And the weather makes a huge difference in the contamination of our water. So if you've had a lot of rainfall or hurricane, thunderstorms, that runoff from the street and 
sewer overflow can make a considerable difference in the contaminations. When we're experiencing a drought, the water in the reserve gets lower and those toxins get concentrated. So you probably want to test your water then. The weather can make a huge difference in the contamination levels in your water. So this is a really cool little device to have. Go on Amazon, honestly, less than 10 bucks. I also posted a tutorial on how to change filters one, two, and three. And I'm gonna include some of that footage into this video and let you see just how filthy that sediment filter was. Dear Lord, ooh, could you imagine if you weren't filtering your water? Oh, ugh, it even feels slimy. Okay, filter one is the sediment. Remember, it's that squishy one. Ooh, nice and clean, nice and clean. Oh, there's still a comparison. Oh my God, look at the difference. That is crazy. That, oh, it's all over my hands again. Whoa, that's the sediment that is in your tap water. All of those particles, pharmaceuticals, microplastics, pesticides, herbicides, all of that right there on my hand. Ooh. We've seen the numbers and we've seen the undeniable difference. And the truth is you don't have to change everything overnight. Just one small choice, like getting truly clean water, can create a powerful ripple effect for your health and our earth. Every action you take for your home matters more than you think. If this video inspired you to think differently about the water in your home and its connection to your health and for our planet, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon because I have so much more cargo to share. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, remember that every small step we take for our health and our planet, we take together.